Good morning, everyone. Dennis K here with Belize Islands Real Estate, giving a big shout out to Ethan. Ethan, thank you so much for the coffee this morning. I'm uh, thoroughly enjoying this as well as my little walk here uh, around the city. And I uh, just emailed you to set up a Zoom call, so I appreciate that. Looking forward to jumping on with you. So for the rest of you guys, for the rest of you, what do I have for you today? Well, my goodness, there's a, there's a lot of excitement in the world, huh? Uh, as they say in West African pigeon, nabi so, na so. So today, uh, you know, I just put out this video a few days ago about the Belizean airport opening up uh, August 15th, scheduled to open up August 15th. I don't know if that's really going to happen. Why? Well, take a look at the major hubs that usually fly into Belize on a daily or every other day basis. They are places like Houston, oh, Miami, Dallas, the exact places now that are seeing uh, reported increases in COVID-19. So is Belize going to actually open their arms and say, come on down to Belize, come on down to our beautiful country where, uh, you know, so far we've been successful at containing this virus and we're just going to open the doors, even with the strong, strong protections and safety measures that Belize has in place. Is that going to be enough? Well, uh, like I said in that video, other countries are opening up as of July 1st. So Belize is going to have about six weeks to really take a look and see what's working, what's not, and if they should adjust course. But I'm going to reemphasize something that I said in that video. Right now, if you do not have to come to Belize, do not come to Belize. It's not going to be a good experience for you. Uh, you know, why would you come down where the, the, the goal of, of Belize is to experience some freedom, right? And to explore and to soak in. If you have to come down to Belize and check into a resort and pretty much stay uh, in and around that resort, I know the, the rules are changing right now, so some of these things uh, might change here even as I make this video. But you know, when you get down to Belize, you're gonna to wanna to mingle and, and do things. And it's all about, you know, uh, getting together with people and having fun and, and trying new things. And you know, is now the right time to be trying to do that in Belize? Now, like I said in the video, if your plan is to move and you wanna get out of the US right now, then go, you know, sell the house, put the stuff in storage, book the tickets, get down to Belize, get the apartment, and then start living your dream. And if your plan is to invest in Belize, I can't emphasize this enough, invest now before that next wave comes, the wave of buyers and investors who are actually waiting to uh, set foot in the country before they pull the trigger on something. So uh, again, just reiterating, re that's not a real word, word re-emphasizing what I already told everyone just a few days ago. But we do have some good news. The good news is we've written a lot of deals in the last, oh, whew, probably 30 to 60 to 90 days. And uh, over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to be interviewing them. So Steph and I like to uh, get these couples and these uh, guys and gals on a Zoom call and ask them what they like about Belize, what they found that's going to work for them property-wise. We're in the process of doing podcasts or YouTube videos with these various clients. We're posting them. We're going to try to spread them out a little bit so you don't get overwhelmed. But uh, for example, yesterday we taped a, a really cool interview with a younger couple, Jeremy and Kat. They were actually married on Ambergris Key. Uh, at a little sandbar off on the west coast so um you know hopefully they'll be posting some pictures here of their wedding because we've had some requests saying hey you know what loved your interview with dennis and steph let's see some pictures of the wedding so hopefully they'll be posting some here so we can uh, we can all check those out but uh either there's that there's there's other couples there's families that i'm going to be interviewing there's uh, actual investors and that's that's who kind of interests me as well because there are people that have never been to belize before uh, have no real desire to move to Ambergris Key, uh, but they are purchasing property now strictly as an investment. In fact, we have one closing this week, and those same that same couple is looking for additional properties in and around North Secret Beach area. So I'm going to be spending a lot of my time today looking for some other opportunities for them. So I want to get them on the podcast or on the videos saying what motivated them to take action now, and that might provide some uh, more information from for you. Uh, also, along that same line of thought, if any of you are looking for some references or some other people to talk to besides me, because you might say, you know, Dennis and Steph, they, they talk a good story and I like them, but, you know, uh, Dennis also has his business in Belize. And this is how he makes his living. So he could be biased. And I'll tell you right now, I am biased. I love Belize. 
uh, but I'm also a realist and I'll tell you everything I don't like about it as well and things you should be aware of and stay away from. But that being said, if you want to talk to others, for example, um, Alberto at Bleeski Investments, he's uh, the guy that does a lot of my closings. Talk to him, set up a meeting with someone on his team, you know, and, and say, hey, how do closing works? How can I be guaranteed that I, that I really own this property, that I actually get title? Tell me the process, where is escrow house, stuff like that. In fact, I might do an interview with someone uh, from the Belize Key Investments team just going over all that type of information. Or uh, if you want to talk to somebody uh, who purchased with their IRA and say, you know what, did, did this really work? Did you actually purchase property in Belize and then sell it with your self-directed IRA? Tell me about your experience. Who did you use as a custodian? Uh, did you like them? Did things go well? Uh, did things not go well? Do you wish anything was different? And maybe most importantly, how is the return? Are you actually making money investing in Belize with your self-directed IRA? Or maybe you're, you're looking for somebody who... Uh, uh, who has made the move already, you know, who has purchased property, who is already living in Belize. You want to talk to somebody uh, who's actually done it before. You know what? Let me know. I'll be happy to provide names and email addresses and contact uh, info. The only thing I would ask out of respect is please just reach out to them if you are serious and if you have a question that you, you can't find answered anywhere else. Why? Because, you know, these are dear friends and clients of mine. They have jobs, families, and entire lives. And what I don't want to see happen is just for me to like to blast their information all over the internet and just give it out as references and now have them be just inundated with calls. But if you're at that point, I'll give you an example. One of my clients uh, from Canada, uh, Brad, who, who just wrote up an offer on a property, uh, he had uh, been through a lot of my videos. Uh, we had jumped on a couple of different Zoom calls. I pre presented some different options and it all looked good, right? He said, you know what, this, this looks fantastic. However, uh, being Canadian, I saw that some other Canadians had also purchased property through me. Would you mind if I provided that contact information? And I said, sure, you know what, you're at the point now or you're ready to pull the trigger. You're, you're all set to do this. You've got all your questions answered. And now you just want that little bit of extra reassurance that, um, that what you're doing is the right decision for you. So fine, no problem. Gave him a couple contacts. He got on the phone this weekend with a couple of them. And then uh, boom, as of Sunday night, uh, email me and he's putting a property under contract. So congratulations, Brad. Appreciate that. Awesome working with you and uh, looking forward to doing more business here in the future. So if like Brad, you're at that point where we've done everything we could to get you to this point and you just need a little bit more of a, of a reassurance uh, talking to actual clients, let me know. We'll provide you with some of their information. You can reach out to them and then you, uh, you can move forward. All right, that's a little message for today. So thanks a lot. Again, Ethan, appreciate this. Uh, looking forward to jumping on our Zoom call. I think it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, 8 or 9 o'clock your time. So look forward to that and uh, see what we can help the rest of you with. All right, take care, guys. And I uh, hope to see you in paradise soon, but not too soon. Remember, come to Belize when you're ready, when Belize is ready, and when you can uh, do the most good for the country. All right, take care. Talk soon.